today our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack. The pictures of airplanes flying into buildings, fires burning, huge, huge structures collapsing, have filled us with disbelief. Today our nation saw evil, the very worst of human nature, and we responded with the best of America. Patriot Act was uh, created after September 11, 2001, when the trade towers came down. I think the country was like really intensely inferior because I remember my mom always worried about like what like the next spot was going to be bombed. And besides Pearl Harbor, I've never had an attack on soil, so I think everyone felt like really violated because they never thought that would like happen again. It was enacted at a time when we all believe it was really an emergency. Now, I happened to have been in New York. I was in a classroom. I was watching the World Trade Center fall down. New Yorkers were right back to work on Thursday, Friday. I'm not sure that we, on the front lines of this issue, felt like we really needed some sort of congressional action right now to stop what was an extremely elaborate and well thought out and long planned plot against the United States. But congressional action they received. The House of Representatives and the Senate were quickly flooded with proposals for new bills intended to protect America from another terrorist attack. The U.S. Patriot Act was introduced to Congress on October 2, 2001. The uniting and strengthening America by providing appropriate tools required to obstruct terrorism act was eventually passed almost unanimously by members of Congress and signed into the order by the President. The Patriot Act is ostensibly to give the government the tool to make us all safer. The purpose is to uh, find terrorists and to find out you know, what they're planning. And it basically uh, gives the government the right to um, intercept your emails, to intercept um, phone calls, warrantless searches, um, and basically be very intrusive into people's lives. And violate their constitutional rights. According to the U.S. Constitution, Amendment 1, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or bridging the freedom of speech or of the press, or the right of people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Pertaining to the USA Patriot Act, librarians are prohibited from informing subjects that they are under government surveillance. The act also allows the government to launch investigations of American citizens based in part on their exercise of speech, such as anti-war groups or activists. As well, the government can monitor religious and political institutions without suspecting criminal activity. Amendment 4, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. As Ms. Carter had stated, the government is allowed to check your email, wiretap your phone calls, look at your medical and library records, and conduct searches and seizures without warrants or probable cause. They don't even need to inform the person that they are under investigation. Is the FBI open up? Step FBI. Is there war? Read the Patriot Act. Amendment 6. In all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy public trial, and to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation, to be confronted with the witness against him, and to have assistance for counsel of his defense. Because of the act, non-citizens and Americans can be jailed by the government indefinitely, without trial. The government can also deny lawyers to those accused of crimes. Should the government have the ability to set aside the Constitution in a time of crisis? No. Um, I do not believe they should. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think they should ignore the Constitution in a time of crisis. No, I think they'd set up the Constitution to prepare for a crisis. Um. 
the purpose of the Constitution is to create a strong union um, of states and individuals within the United States um, in order to um, give us all a better life. And it's based upon you know, the, the foundations of freedoms and individual rights. Freedom of religion, freedom of expression, all in the Bill of Rights. I, I don't think you should take people's rights away. You should try to work within the rights. But I don't think the Patriot Act really falls into that category. I think it's just more of a way to give government carte blanche and a full pass to do whatever they want.